Hey guys, something I've been looking at this week is Isaiah 49 verse 6. It is too small a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the preserved ones of Israel. I will also give you as a light to the Gentiles that you should be my salvation to the ends of the earth. So what I'm seeing there is that verse, Isaiah 49, 6, is saying it's too small a thing for Jesus to be salvation just for the Israelites. But, but He's going to be salvation for the ends of the earth, for the nations, all the nations. Uh, if you look at Psalm 2, it's a conversation between the, the Father and the Son. And the Father says to the Son, Ask me and I'll give you the nations as your inheritance. And, and it, apparently He did. Because in Revelation 4 and 5, it says that there's going to be people from every nation, tribe, and tongue that, that worship the Lord, that have been saved and been covered by the blood of Christ uh, at the very end. Uh, and then in 2 Corinthians 5, he says that he has made us as ambassadors for Christ as if God were pleading through us to be reconciled to God. So, something I'm encouraged in is, is, is do I want people from other countries or, or, or in places where they've never heard the gospel, they've never heard the truth, they don't, they can't put their hope in Christ because they never even heard about Him. Um, do I want those people to hear the gospel? Because if they don't, they may spend a, they'll spend eternity in hell. Yes, but here's another reason. If if Christ only has Jerusalem, if He only has the Israelites, if, if, if He only has those places or He only has America, that's too small for Him. The, the nations are His inheritance. To the ends of the earth, uh, salvation is, is going to go forth from Christ to the ends of the earth. So I want to be a part of that, whatever that means. So that means I cry out to the Lord uh, to show me how I can be that, how I can uh, either send money or or how I can pray towards that or how I can send other people out or be sent out myself or something to be able to take the gospel in places where they never heard it before. Um, but something else I've been started up to is right here in America. Uh, there's, you know, I ran across a guy the other day from Vietnam. Uh, there's people from China. There's Muslims here. There's people from all over the world that have come to America. And I'm saying that's a good opportunity to be looking for that and, and looking to preach the gospel to those people. They may have never... Uh, maybe they've heard about Christianity or something like that, but to truly hear the gospel, so many of them don't. They never heard it, so to be giving that out. Uh, something else that's, that's interesting, just to start you up, maybe to think or look up something on, on the internet about it, but Dearborn, Michigan is a place where there's a, a lot of Arabs have, have come to, to live in that area. I don't want to give a number. I want to say something like 30% uh, of the people there are, are Muslim or something like that. Just a huge population of, of uh, of Muslims starting to come into that area. Uh, it's just something neat to think about. And they do this thing called a, an Arab festival, I think, every year. Uh, that would be neat to get to go to that, to go to that and be able to preach the gospel to some people there. Uh, another thing, and I'm actually here right now, and I want to get out of the car and show this to you. Actually, right here in Flowood, there's a Hindu temple. And I want to show you this. I just think maybe this will, uh, this, this stirred me up to be thinking about what can I do right here where I'm at. So I'm going to get out and I'm just going to show some pictures of, of this, uh, this temple. It's pretty, pretty wild. Hold on one second. Pretty big place. Make you feel like you're in another country.
Anyways, guys, I just want to show that to you. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, never could imagine something like this being in flow wood. But it does open up my eyes to say, I need to preach the gospel. Mark 16 says, preach the gospel to every creature. <laughs> 